Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to download a Judcom file from MyHeritage and upload it to your storied account. It's a really easy process um, once you know where to find everything. So I'm gonna take you through those steps today. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to go to your MyHeritage account and log in if you're not logged in. So go ahead and log in. And once you're logged in, you're gonna to come to the top menu here and you're gonna see Family Tree. And from Family Tree, you're gonna come down and click on Manage Trees. So once you manage trees, that's gonna bring you to the screen that shows you a listing of all of your family trees. I have two in this account. The one I'm gonna focus on today is this Poppy Family Tree Ancestry. And so over to the right of that, I have some actions that I can do with this tree. And one of them is export to Judcom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I have a pop-up and it's gonna ask me, what do I wanna include? I'm just gonna leave this because this is just a trial one that we're doing just as a demo to show you how to do it. You can check or uncheck any of those that you want. So I'm gonna just leave that. And then I'm gonna say, begin the export. Now. This is gonna depend your export time on how big your tree is. So mine was fast um, and it hasn't done it yet. So this is the next step. I'm going to name this file because it's gonna save this Judcom file to my computer. And I'm gonna call it my Poppy Family Tree and I'm gonna click on save and it's already done. That was super fast. Now again, it's gonna be dependent on how many people you have in your tree. If you have a fairly large tree, it can take a, a decent amount of time to download that Judcom file. So the Judcom file is gonna take all those people and then names and dates and locations, and it's gonna make it easy so that you don't have to re-enter all of that information. So it's a really great process to take a tree from one family history site to another. So now I'm gonna come over to my storied account and I'm gonna make sure that I'm logged into my account, and I already am. And I'm gonna come over here on the left side navigation panel to My Family Trees, and I'm gonna click on that. And this is gonna open up, I already have, have a tree in here, and so this is gonna open up the tree I was in last, my Clark Family Tree. And up here where it has Clark Family Tree, there's an arrow beside it. I'm gonna click on that as a drop down, and then I'm gonna come down to Start a Tree and click on that. Now you get three different options on starting your tree at Storied. You can start a new tree, which means you're starting from scratch and you're entering all of that information. Today, we're gonna focus on uploading the Judcom file. You can also import from Family Search if you have a Family Search account. So we're gonna do the upload a Judcom file because that's what we saved from my heritage, and you're gonna get this screen. So this first, check mark box is for hints and you'll definitely want to keep that checked because once you upload your judcom file storage is going to start looking for hints for those people in that tree so i would encourage you to keep that checked the next box is for our privacy statement in terms and conditions these are linked these blue um, terms and conditions and privacy statement down here so if you want to read those you can you're going to click accept and then here you're going to click on upload Judcom and we're gonna go find that file that I just downloaded from my heritage. So here it is, Poppy Family Tree. I'm gonna open it and you can see there it is. I'm gonna click on upload. And then the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna take all of the people that are in that Judcom file and it's gonna ask me who I want to be my home person. And so this is a short list. There are only a few people, but if you had a long list, you could search and find the person that you want to be your home person. I'm gonna do Ida as my um, home person. I am personally not Ida, so I'm gonna uncheck that box and then I'm gonna say done. Now again, this you, you missed it because it was so fast, but there was a window that popped up that said, hey, this tree's gonna take less than a minute to import. And so again, that's going to be dependent on how many people you have in your tree. And if it's going to take, a, you know, several minutes, uh, you're going to get a message and it's going to say, hey, it's going to take approximately 
five minutes to upload your tree and you can search and and do other things on your story to count while you're waiting for that or if you go away from your computer you will get an email from us that says hey your GEDCOM file is now uploaded and your family tree is ready to view and you can see that here is my poppy family tree that I just uploaded from my heritage with a GEDCOM file and you can see that I've already got some hints waiting for me for those people at Storied. Good luck in your family history search.